Nvidia lost a record $600 billion in a single day. Deep sea, deep sea, deep sea. The biggest drop ever for any company in the history. And not just that, AI related sectors, including semiconductors, infrastructures, and other companies, overall saw a trillion dollar wipeout. But why? A new AI giant has arrived and it did not come from Silicon Valley. DeepSeek has shaken the tech world to its core, rising from the shadows and challenging industry leaders like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, Meta. But how did this seemingly unknown company suddenly dominate the AI space and beat OpenAI? Why did they release DeepSeek just when Donald Trump announced $500 billion to fund AI infrastructure? And then, why DeepSeek got banned in several countries after it went so viral? And most importantly, what does all this mean for the future of artificial intelligence? Let's break it down. It is mind-blowing. China's chat GPT moment. It's called DeepSeek. Looks like they've caught up. Being more efficient. I'm good for my 80 billion. Microsoft yep. shares down 6.8% this morning. Is there a point where Satya says, okay, maybe I'm not good for the 80 billion? DeepSeek has cleared its position as a formidable competitor to OpenAI and other AI models. But how did they do it? This benchmark performance shows how strong DeepSeek V3 is compared to its other competitors. An evaluation suit with a wide range of multiple choice questions covering subjects like math, physics, history, and law. Then, a benchmark focused on Q&A across diverse domains. The diamond signifies a high level of difficulty advanced reasoning. Then we have MAT500, IME, Code Forces, and Software Engineering Benchmark. And in all of these categories, DeepSeek is outperforming or on par with its competitors. Now that was DeepSeek V3 with OpenAI 4.0. The latest R1 model is even better than the previous one. And the way that they're doing it is by adopting the reinforcement learning and train of thought reasoning. The idea is not new to be honest, but they have done this in a very optimized and efficient way. Of course, OpenAI released a new model with reasoning just to give a reply to DeepSeek's massive success. But unlike OpenAI's closed system, DeepSeek is open source, allowing researchers and developers worldwide to access, modify, and enhance this technology. There has been report that researchers created an open rival S1 to OpenAI's O1 reasoning model for just under $50. AI researchers at the University of California, Berkeley claim to have replicated the R1 model for just $30. We reproduced DeepSeek R10 in the countdown game and it just works. Despite its limitations, the ability to recreate an advanced AI model for such a small amount of costs has once again raised questions against US tech giants like OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, Meta, who have spent hundreds of billions of dollars developing their most efficient model, where DeepSeek achieved all these benchmarks for a fraction amount of their costs, $5.6 million. Not only a fraction of a billion dollar, they claim to have done it within a very short amount of time. It's being said on the report that DeepSeek trained its V3 AI model using a cluster of 2048 NVIDIA 800 GPUs. So 2048, I remember that just Grok3 has been released and mentioned using a cluster of 200,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. The difference is very big. If you want to know more about that Grok3, uh, that video is here. Also, I'll put that below in the description. Now, we do need to keep in mind that that $5.6 million is the training costs, not the overall infrastructure cost of DeepSeek, which has never been published yet. And yes, they have done this without NVIDIA's most powerful chip, H100, which itself costs $25,000 per unit if you can purchase them directly from NVIDIA. I cannot imagine that if the 17K H800 is sold at 70K in China, how much the 30K H100 would be sold for if it was? Because US has export controls over China and they have restricted China to get their hands on on the latest NVIDIA's chip, keeping the American tech in America. But some believe that China actually has a lot of those chips through Gray market. The Chinese labs, uh, they have more H100s than, than uh, people think. My understanding is that DeepSeek has about 50,000 H100s. And even if this is true, DeepSeek is so much cost efficient. 
Take a look at this graph. This is the token price comparison between R1 and O1. Now, a token is the smallest unit which takes data can be broken down for an AI model to process. So if I write, how can I get a million sub in a year? With a question mark, that would be 11 token. Cache it means the AI model has already processed a similar request before. For example, if you ask, what is AI? Someone else asked the same question earlier. Deepseek can fetch the cash answer quickly and charged only 14 cents per million token. Cash miss happens when the AI hasn't seen the request before, so it needs to compute from scratch. Since this requires more GPU power, it costs more than a cache sheet. Output tokens refer to the AI's generated response, the words it types back to you. Since text generation requires computation, this is the more expensive one. For example, if Div6 generates a 1000 token reply, that would be $0.00219, if I'm not wrong. Very, very low cost comparing to OpenAI's very confusing updates of models cost this much. But does this mean that DeepSeek just saved billions and billions of dollars in the AI industry? The j paradox is an economic theory suggesting that as technological improvements increase the efficiency of resource use, the overall consumption or demand of that resource may increase rather than decrease. In the context of AI, as the model becomes more effective and cost efficient, like DeepSeek, the demand for AI applications could grow, potentially leading to greater overall resource consumption in the tech industry. Now, why do we even need to know about the Javon's paradox? We'll get back to this paradox again. Now, we have talked a lot about DeepSeek's massive success, but Who's behind it? Liang Wengfeng, the CEO of a Chinese hedge fund called Highflyer, founded DeepSeek in 2023. Highflyer manages around $8 billion in assets and DeepSeek was their side project. Let me repeat, a side project. There has been report that he hires non-traditional graduates with less experienced background. In a rare interview last year, he said China's AI sector cannot remain a follower forever. He also said that Often, we say there is a one or two year gap between Chinese and American AI. Well, I used to think we were a couple of years ahead of China, but China has caught up in the last six months in a way that is remarkable. Uh, one, for example, is called DeepSeek. So yes, a Chinese AI company did something very special. But what went special into Liang's mind? Why did DeepSeek gain so much popularity in such a short amount of time and money? The reason is their very human-like features and optimization. DeepSeek uses chain of thought reasoning, a process where it thinks first before giving you the answer. The reasoning is the mental process of deriving logical conclusions and making predictions from available knowledge, facts, and beliefs. It is a general process of thinking rationally to find a valid conclusion. In AI, the reasoning is essential so that a machine can think like and perform like human. They are calling it the aha moment. DeepSeek has different kinds of experts for different query. They reported that out of the 671 billion parameters, only 37 billions are activated for each token, meaning it only activates a subset of specialized expert neural network based on user query. For example, if a user inputs a math-related query, the model routes it to experts trained in math rather than activating the entire model. For a language translation task, different experts trained in linguistics and grammar get activated instead, which leads to uses of fewer parameters, less power use, and of course, lower costs. But we're yet to know how did they do this. Even if DeepSeek has all those amazing features that already made a major breakthrough in the AI industry, what's the point if there hasn't been some cons and critics? DeepSeek heavily censors its own responses. If you ask the DeepSeek R1 about sensitive topics like China President, Taiwan or Tiananmen Square, chances are it won't give you an answer. It replied, sorry, that's beyond my current scope. This raises big questions about the future of Chinese AI models. If these censorship filters are easy to remove, open source AI from China could become even more popular, allowing researchers to tweak and customize them freely. But if these filters are heavily embedded and hard to bypass, there's a chance that DeepSeek might lose the global appeal 
to compete each other. They don't understand just how grossly censored DeepSeek is. Some people are concerned about using DeepSeek because of China's strict government regulations and history of data surveillance. DeepSeek has also faced a significant cyber attack, which is believed to have originated from the United States. In response to the cyber attacks, DeepSeek made the decision to limit new registrations to users with mainland Chinese mobile numbers. And this move was necessary due to the significant amount of registration issues caused by the ongoing attacks. And we have more. OpenAI says that it has found evidence that DeepSeek has used their proprietary models to train their own open source competitor, the process also known as distillation. But take a look at this fact. OpenAI said they would be open source, but they are not. In fact, it's on their name, OpenAI. Okay, so DeepSeek is the hero now, but why some countries banned it? As it is a Chinese company, the country's law states that any data shared on mobile and web apps can be accessed by Chinese intelligence agencies, which is also generating national security fears. Italy became the first country to block DeepSeek on January 30. Taiwan banned government agencies from using DeepSeek's AI model, citing security concerns. While there has been no nationwide ban yet, Texas became the first US state to ban DeepSeek on government-issued devices. The US Navy also officially banned its members from using DeepSeek, according to CNBC. And not just US, we also have Australia and then South Korea. Okay, so we get it, right? DeepSeek has some issues like everything else, but DeepSeek is great. They have done a totally unexpected and impossible thing possible. But why on earth a company in the US who make hardware and became the most valuable company last year had to pay the biggest price for DeepSeek. Nvidia appears to have been hit the worst as its stock price plunged 17% on January 20th, the day DeepSeek is released. Now here's the deal. Nvidia make the chip to train the AI model most efficiently. And companies like OpenAI, Google, Meta spend a fortune, I repeat, a fortune, billions and billions of dollars to buy this chip so that they can train their models the best way possible. Also, keeping the American tech in America. So when DeepSeek proved that they don't need their most high-end efficient chip, Nvidia's demand went down, hence the stock price and they had this biggest drop ever. Also, broken their own past record of a single day drop. That's where the j paradox comes to play again. Even though we're talking about this $600 billion drop of Nvidia and the trillion drop overall in the US tech market, things can change pretty quickly as well. As AI gets cheaper, people would be using them more than ever. The demand of chips will go rise to serve the public users or consumers and Nvidia is the leading chip company in the world. So there could be more demand in time, more chip from Nvidia and more money for them. So DFC might have done Nvidia a favor in the long run. Interesting, right? But what's going on with OpenAI and other tech giants? Mark Zuckerberg's Meta has urgently assembled as many as four war rooms to determine how DeepSeek, a modest Chinese AI startup, managed to release an AI assistant already called a game changer. There has been report from Meta that DeepSeek's newest model could outperform even the next version of Meta's Llama. You can already sense the tension here. Mark said that a new Llama model version would become the leading state-of-the-art model upon release. He also announced that the company would spend as much as $65 billion on AI project in 2025. So in short, Meta will not stop spending more on AI. And while they are going to spend $65 billion this year on AI, another company announced that they would be spending $75 billion in AI this year. And they lost $200 billion followed by the announcement. Yes, Alphabet, the parent company of Google. In its latest earning reports, Alphabet announced plans to increase capital expenditure to $75 billion in 25, up from $52.5 billion in the previous year. It's no doubt that OpenAI got the hardest blow here. Though Nvidia lost $600 billion on market capitalization and Google just lost $200 billion, OpenAI lost its fame and reputation even if it's for now. They have always created this big picture of spending more for the better AI. But DeepSeek has shown the world that that's not the case anymore. In a past tour to India, 
OpenACO said hopeless about building an AI model in India. Specifically focused on AI, are there spaces where you see, let's say a startup from India building not 100 million, but let's say 10 million could actually build something truly substantial? Look, the way this works is we're going to tell you it's totally hopeless to compete with us on training foundation models you shouldn't try, and it's your job to like try anyway. And after the rise of DeepSeek, Sam visited India again. That was a very specific time when there was a certain scaling thing. India should be one of the leaders of the AI revolution. It's, a, it, it's really quite amazing to see what the country has done. From hopeless to incredible, he just took an EU turn, changing his mind. And not just India, he visited Japan to partner with SoftBank. And to expand more in Asia, he went to South Korea to team up with Korea's tech giant, Kakao. And then Germany. Why is he visiting all this country? Is he on a vacation? Not at all. It's because the chaos that DeepSeek has caused. And Altman is looking to get his hands to collaboration and cooperation to get the market and investors all over the world. Basically, trying to make positive sick allies. Twist on the race. On January 21st, Donald Trump announced to fund $500 billion to Project Stargate in the upcoming years just to build the better AI model. And it already has started. The first of them are under construction in Texas. Each building's a half a million square feet. Sam Ortman tweeted this as well. Now, here is the question. Why did they release DeepSeek almost on the same day? Did they somehow know about that $500 billion project and say, let's release our model at the same day and show the US that it's not about that big budget? Now, people are raising questions about these big spendings in AI where DeepSeek pretty much came out of nowhere. Recently, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman posted a picture of himself with Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella. Altman wrote that, the next phase of their partnership is going to be much better than anyone is ready for. The alliance between the companies has been riddled with tension of late, and Microsoft earlier that month lost its status as OpenAI's exclusive cloud provider. That announcement came as President Donald Trump unveiled his Stargate project, a joint venture between OpenAI, Oracle, and SoftBank that did not include Microsoft. OpenAI's top investor. And not to forget, Elon Musk wanted to buy OpenAI for $97 billion. The same man who co-founded OpenAI but later left the board because of his vision wasn't really matching with the others how he wanted to operate this. I mean, how much chaos this deep seek has caused? Can you imagine? From everything we have seen so far, it's very clear, very much clear that the US tech giants are not happy with DeepSeek. So it's their move now and they will do whatever it takes to stay on the AI race. Now, DeepSeek's rise has disrupted the AI landscape. Meta, Google, OpenAI, even Nvidia are paying attention. And it's not about the competition. It's about who controls the future of AI. US has already restricted China to get the advanced AI chips. But is it too late? And it's not just DeepSeek anymore. On January 2025, we have seen a stack of AI models just from China alone. It seems like OpenAI's ChatGPT is not that big player anymore. Alibaba says their q 2.5 Max is better in some way than DeepSeek. ByteDance has their Dubao. And then there is Kimi K.1. What has so far been OpenAI's own game? Seems like they are just another player in the game and not the captain anymore. AI is no longer about the technology. China is accelerating its AI development and DeepSeek is now a key player in the race. DeepSeek's story is just the beginning. It's redefining AI accessibility, pushing innovation and forcing industry leaders to rethink their strategies. Whether this is a breakthrough for AI or the beginning of an insane AI battle, one thing is certain that DeepSeek is here Twist it. The way we know about industry, economy, military power, agriculture, communications, and war will not be the same anymore. AI is reshaping it, and AI will reform it. What do you think about DeepSeek? Will it surpass OpenAI and Grok, or is it just another temporary hype? Drop your thoughts in the comment below, and if you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.